one of the trends is that more and more consumers are interested in buying green products, products that are not contributing or contributing less to global warming, have lower carbon footprint, and so forth. The problem is that you, when you buy a product, before you buy it, you can tell the color, you can tell the shape, you can tell what it does. You cannot tell the carbon footprint. Even after you bought it, you cannot tell the carbon footprint. Because the carbon footprint is a supply chain attribute. It is very important who made the part that went to the first supplier, the second supplier, the third supplier, the fourth supplier, until it got to the manufacturing plant and then how it was distributed. And it's not even who made them. Where they, what is the source of the energy in the country they were made? If they were made in France, they have very low carbon footprint because France is very heavily dependent on nuclear energy. If it was done in China, probably the energy came from a coal fire plant. So the calculations are extremely complex. In fact, Tesco, the British uh, retail chain, several years ago announced that they are going to put a carbon label like nutrition on every one of the products. They did what's called life cycle analysis, looking at the whole life cycle of a product. And after several years, they were able to do a few products. They realized that to do all the product in the store will take about 400 centuries. They, they drop it. And the problem is that to do real analysis is extremely complicated. So companies are caught in a bind. On the one hand, NGOs, media, journalists, activists are attacking them for not doing enough. In many cases they do the right things, but it's so complex that if you don't have the right analytical tool, an NGO cannot ascertain that this is right, so they call it greenwashing, which means fibbing about your green credentials. Yet most companies that we talk to are actually trying to do the right thing. Are actually trying, but it is so complex that them, for themselves to measure what is the carbon footprint is almost impossible. They try to do it. So what they try to do for the most part is do actions that do not have unintended consequences. For example, an unnamed port in the United States uh, had very strong green movement. They disallowed all trucks who come into the port. So the old trucks were sold to South America when they are running with less maintenance and they're running, you know, hundreds of thousands of miles a year. And globally, actually, the situation is worse. Now, this port has great green credentials, but globally, the situation is worse. So, it is a very difficult problem. You have to look at the entire life cycle. One more example. When you buy an HP cartridge, they give you a little envelope to set the cartridge back. Very nice. But they did So, originally, they were filling up the cartridge with new ink, and sending it back as, you know, used cartridge. Turns out, this was bad for the environment. Why? You think they are doing the right thing? No, turns out that these new cartridges, the, the uh, used cartridges, don't print that well. So instead of printing 100 pages, you print 120 pages. And they found out that most of the carbon footprint is in the pages, not in the cartridges. So now they take the cartridges and they grind the plastic to make new, grind, uh, new cartridges instead, instead of doing this. But I'm saying this requires, this is a simple analysis. In many cases in the book we describe much more extensive analysis of how complex it can get, of where the carbon footprint is. So this is basically the message of the book. The message of, the, of this new research is understanding the complexity, but also understanding what can be done about it how to do life cycle analysis and what action do not require life cycle analysis and still are good for the environment and also where companies are unfairly being attacked and documenting all of this. So this is kind of the basic message. We're trying to, to give corporations a tool, a set of tools to decide what can be done in order to keep the competitive advantage, not go out of business while being green still keep margin uh, and profit, and yet, and yet do the right thing. That's the balance that the book is.
the, the new research is trying to strike.